Were there any other ones in the country before that? Sure, Aspen. Oh, Aspen. Yeah, the, the Aspen Food and Wine Classic. And the real story is that <clears throat> I went to Aspen um, for a birthday gift. Friends took me. Do you know Stephen Reichland, the barbecue bottle yeah, yeah. guy? Stephen and his wife are great friends of mine, and they took me to Aspen for a birthday gift probably 24 years ago. And I remember leaving Aspen saying, wow, this is really incredible. Mm. And the only thing better than being in the mountains would be being on the beach. Oh, sure. And that's really how the idea came. And I remember being on a plane and again, pre iPhones and taking notes and writing down what I think South Beach could be, what Aspen could be on the beach. How does that one, how does that one differ than this one? Just because I've never been. So. Well, um, uh, imagine well, you've never been to South Beach. Of course I have. <laughs> um, Aspen, imagine it's a thousand people. Uh -huh. well, a thousand rich people spending big money, you know, so it's much smaller and much more exclusive. Mm. Um, small numbers. It's a so small community. So you're talking about like the festivals? The like, festival. It's only a thousand people? A thousand people. They sell oh, a man. thousand festivals. That's drastically different. Yeah, so a thousand, you know, we sell a thousand tickets to a mid-sized event. Right. Yeah, so totally different. You know, people go to Aspen to be educated and have fun. People come to South Beach to have fun and have fun.